This man's been in my life since I was like a legit like 10 years old. So you know over this little Everybody lit, can't pull that fire out. Hey. First thing I'ma do when I pop out is tell my nigga, yo, make sure you got the Glock out. I just hopped out looking like a knockout. What's poppin', gang? Welcome back to It's Just Tay Vlogs. Let's get it. What's happening? What's poppin', JT gang? It's your favorite lip gloss plug podcast host and soon to be favorite YouTuber, Just Tay. I am just opening up the vlog. As well, if you are returning, you know what to do. Go ahead and like and share the video out. If you are new and looking for a channel that does many travels, loves a good family time, and oh, a good weekend turn up, just tell your girl. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe below, down and below, to help your girl grow. Okay? All right. So, y'all, what's poppin', y'all? I know y'all like, girl, why you open a vlog and can't even see your face? Like, it's the weekend vlog, duh, y'all. I have been going through so much um, this past week. I'm going to get into that with y'all um, a little later. But I do want to open up the blog right now because every morning for the past two weeks now, I have been watching podcasts, you know, just to get my mind flowing and going, you know, instead of watching crazy stuff, you know. But y'all, I had looked up podcasts on YouTube. I don't know if y'all, any of y'all are familiar with eight with the table right there i don't know if y'all familiar with this podcast but y'all um i think i've heard it through other people's vlogs but i've never watched it for myself as you see i'm like almost done with y'all but i want to speak on this basically on this topic that they're talking about as of right now um just to sum up their topic is reversed roles on could you stay with a man if you were cheating on him but you were the breadwinner say if you was the one making a hundred figures paying all the bills he was you know like the the daddy daycare house man you know or whatever he didn't have no goals or whatever and you were the breadwinner but you were cheating the male said that he feel i'm gonna let y'all hear i'm gonna let y'all hear i ain't even gonna talk about it but we're gonna talk about this. I'm gonna let y'all hear this. You know that hierarchy will always play a, a play a part in just natural, like life. So if you are the person who is, especially we're talking about five hundred thousand to a million dollars a year you're making, you're providing a really dope lifestyle. And at the same time, I mean, and in that same breath, you gotta either fall in line or get the hell out of line. I said this here before: women and men have to learn. You need to pay to play. You can't pay if you can't put up, then you need to shut up. That's it. So in that sense, if that man can get the money and he really loves his girl, he got to take what come with it. And that's what I'm saying. I don't respect. That's, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying that I didn't I didn't say that if the man doesn't leave, I don't respect him. If he doesn't even, check. yeah, check me. He doesn't have a conversation about it. Let me know that, like, yo, I know what you're doing and this ain't flying with me. I because, check. no, no, because... My thing is, I understand what you said, but you falling in line and playing a role, it just seems weak, especially when I'm the breadwinner. I'm the breadwinner and I'm already not trying, I'm gonna say trying for myself, not to look at you as less of a man. And you know I'm cheating and you're not gonna say anything and you falling in line? Where where are you being a man? Like, come on, I'm, I'm, I'm being dead ass now. I mean being a man and it takes well it takes strength to stay with somebody who cheat on you that's first of all yeah but let's talk about it yell at me like let's do it and let me let me say sorry and like i'm you know and and we'll get back together i'm not i'm not telling you to leave or nothing that's what i'm saying but you don't say nothing what is he checking for he you has no place what do you think I feel like men and women think. Oh, if you put me in my place, I'll never do it again. You are. Right. You did it once, you do it again. I, I was with her, y'all, until I felt like she was doing too much. Too much more like than we think. There's a lot more things that are just like human needs and human responses than they are like for men versus women. Um, I keep like 
just staring off into like, who is this guy? Like, I have never heard of such a story. Right. But That's I'm sure all things speak. exist. It's like, I really don't think that anyone is experiencing that level of um, violation and not saying anything unless they are there for tangible materialistic reasons. I just, even when you like like somebody a lot, the idea of them being with someone else, especially through deceit, again, cheating is about deception. Mm -hmm. If you, it's only wrong when you don't have permission to do conversation about that. We need to right. establish that. The deception is where the issue comes in. And so I have a really hard time believing that any man, really any person, but any man would know, even with a woman making this much money, that she's out cheating and he's just not going to address it. But if that is the case, then he's there because of reasons that really probably don't have anything Beneficial. to do with like mm -hmm. heart connection, soul connection. He's there because Materialistic. it's comfortable. He's there because it's cool. Mm -hmm. it's healthy, <laughs>
Yeah, I've been going through some things this weekend. I had a death in the family, so I've been chill, chill. But we back outside again. And we finna just kick it for a second. to open up the vlog for today um y'all it's been hard i know as y'all seen on friday like your girl been going through it i've been going through it y'all um what's happening gang i had to put a voice over over this part because as you see i was just so emotional and i um had to handle business, but yeah, I've been really going through it this week. Um, the weekend vlog was definitely kind of short. I definitely lost someone very, very, very close to me. Like, literally, this man's been in my life since I was, like, a legit, like, 10 years old. So, you know, over, that's literally over 10, 15 years, y'all. This was definitely, like, a father figure. He was my dad's best friend as far as... They coach the community together, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, whatever it is, traveling lead. I've literally seen both of these men go through the hardest things in life and still put a smile on their face. Like thinking about it now just give me chills because life is so unfair and it just really hurt because, um, Man, the last time I seen him, he was such in good cheers. And in probably this same month of the video that you're going to see next, um, he probably was going through it then and didn't even know it. You know, that's how you know people be in such good cheers and able to hide what they're really going through and still make sure that your day be better, you know. And that's important because I talked about that before, how people can be going through things and don't realize when they're talking to people about stuff, um, depending on the way they're giving it to you, they could be baggage put on you. Um Talking about it now is making me cry, but my godfather, he did pass away. Sweetest man in the world. Um, he had cancer. And it's still hard. It's still hard. It's still hard. But um, I couldn't just talk too much about it. But, yeah, I just wanted to put the audio on top of it. And, yeah. I'd be drunk and took my ass down the line. Okay. <laughs> I don't see it happen. Huh? No. What you say? Uh, what you say? I'm gonna get baby, I was vlogging. <laughs> uh, I was vlogging, baby. Hey, vlog. Yes. <laughs> uh, All right, baby, I got you. you Very much. Y'all see. Y'all see what I'm having to deal with, y'all. Y'all heard that. You see what I have to deal with. He just be sick. I'll be right back with y'all, but um, I'll be back with y'all. 
That's gonna go handle this man needs. What's poppin' gang? We came out here to get some to eat for today. They just helped his friend move. Oh, and he tired his head, y'all, so we should be careful. Ooh, OT. Stop playing Fuck being on some chill shit. We go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. They be on that rap to pay the bill shit. And now I'm finished it, not even a little bit. Oh Lord, know yourself, know your work, nigga. My ex is being louder than my words, nigga. How you sold? I've been still sold down to hurt, nigga. Niggas wanna do it, we can do it on they turf, nigga. Oh Lord, I'm the rookie in the vet. Shout out to the bitches, I ain't holding down the set. All up in my phone looking at pictures from the other night. She gon' be upset if she keeps scrolling to the left, dog. She gon' see some shit that she don't Let me just come in on y'all. I've been asking him to cook smoke McDonald's for like weeks, but right now I've been from all day today. But he was like, no, no, we ain't gonna get it. Look what we get. Okay. Let's hope that he makes it. Wanna see? She ain't ready for it. If I ain't the greatest, then I'm headed for it. Yeah, that mean I'm way up. Yeah, the six ain't friendly, but that's where I lay up. This shit a motherfucking lay up. I been Steph Curry with the shot, been cooking with the sauce, Chef Curry with the pot, boy. 360 with the wrist, boy. Hey, who the fuck niggas is, boy? OVO, man, we really.